Now, once it's been completed, we can right click on it and say results. And now what you're looking at is the results module. And the tree over here is the results tree. As opposed to previously, you were looking at the model tree. And the results tree, you can basically visualize the results of your analysis and also deal with other options such as exporting your output files, generating a few plots and exporting them. And we're just going to look at a few basic things right now. First thing you see is your meshed object. If you want to see how it would have deformed or the results of the simulation, how they say it's deformed, you come over here and click on the plot deform shape. And you see Abacus displays a deformed shape of your barbell stand. And I can use the rotate view command to move around and look at that better. Of course, this is highly exaggerated. Your barbell stand, you would not want it to deform so much. If I click back and forth between these, you see that's a lot of deformation. And there's no way steel has deformed that much with a 40 kilogram load. So Abacus has gone ahead and you know, multiplied your deformation by a factor just to help you visualize things better. But there is a way to change that, and we'll cover that in another tutorial. Another thing I want you to look at is the deformed shape. You want to plot contours on the deformed shape. You click on the Plot Contours button, and there you see it's plotted the mice's stress on the barbell stand itself. And here you see a key telling you what the colors stand for. So you can see where your stress concentrations are. You seem to have the most right here along this front face and a little less on the back. Because our force was not directly above the vertical column. So this is not purely a, a tensile or a compressive problem. You've also got bending going on. And that's why you've got higher stresses down here and lower ones out there. And you've got some stresses here at the base where the column connects with the base itself.